Pearls are now preferred to diamonds. Pearls can ooze sophistication. Who can forget Princess Dinah's multi-strand pearl choker with a black dress? Wearing a pearl necklace looks classy. Pearl can accompany any type of outfit, western or Indian ethnic. It is a perfect mix of sophistication and glamorous modernity. Pearl necklace can look fabulous and elegant if you pair it correctly with your outfits and other accessories. The beauty of a pearl necklace is that this can be worn every single day, giving you a different look and attitude every single time. Wow! Angelina Jolie wearing pearls. Now these are more popular than diamonds at auction houses across the world. In this video, we will take you to a tool to tell you how pearls are made and best jewelries are prepared for a big market. The development of a technique for mass production of cultured freshwater pearls lowered the price so much that you can pick them up almost as cheaply as costume jewelry. So why not to wear them whenever you want to? There are essentially two types of pearls, natural and cultured. Natural pearls form when an irritant, usually a parasite, works its way into an oyster, mussel or clam. As a defense mechanism, a fluid is used to coat the irritant. Layer upon layer of this coating, called nacre, is deposited until a lustrous pearl is formed. A cultured pearl undergoes the same process. The only difference is that the irritant is a surgically implanted bead or piece of shell called mother of pearl. These seeds or nuclei are most often formed from mussel shells or oyster. A membrane is inserted manually to a small piece of nucleus. Thereafter, it is left in the ocean. Quality cultured pearls require a sufficient amount of time, generally at least three years, for a thick layer of nacre to be deposited, resulting in a beautiful gem quality pearl. Pearls can come from either salt or freshwater sources. Historically, saltwater pearls were rounder and had a better nacre than freshwater pearls. Of the pearls produced, only approximately 5% are of sufficient true gem quality for top jewelry makers. Yet a pearl farmer can figure on spending over $100 for every oyster that is farmed, whether a gem quality pearl is produced or not. Pearls are sorted based on color, quality and size. Selected pearls are then used for making jewelries of various designs. There are skilled artisans who work skillfully and produce best designs. These are seashell designs, which is another big industry. In old Greco-Roman times, the shell was a favorite decorative feature, traceable to such seafaring peoples as the Asians. Shells are formed from minerals, not mollusk cells. Mollusks are largest marine animals. As mollusks continue to excrete calcium carbonate, their shells continue to grow. In recent years, producers have figured out how to make freshwater pearls bigger, rounder and more like saltwater pearls. 
retailers are now offering jewelry made with freshwater pearls at a fraction of the price of similar jewelry made with saltwater pearls. Tiffany, famous jewelry company, sells oval freshwater pearl bracelets for $250 and necklaces for $375. Recently, you must have heard about famous China Pearl Market, which is growing very big and attracting tourists from all across the world. Chinese pearls are imitation pearls. Imitation pearls are made from glass, plastic or shell beads, which are coated with material and painted to look like a pearl. They might give you a feeling of satisfaction, but these are just imitation pearls choices yours if you like this video please like share and comment please also subscribe to our videos thank you